when in Mexico, amigos. Hi everybody, it's Haley with HaleyWithTheFlare.com and I am vlogging. And it's not just travel vlogging, but I decided for the month of December, I'm gonna go in for it. My goal is to try to vlog or vlog every single day this month. For those of you that are new, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. There is a lot of travel content on there. I am typically a travel blogger, which is kind of a joke here in 2020, but there's lots of great content on here from Disney to cruising to traveling in the States, traveling abroad. So I highly encourage you to check that out. So why did my crazy self decide to try to vlog every day for this month of December? We'll call it vlogmas, I guess. If, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, I'm just going to call it that. So why did I decide to do this? 2020 has been rough, everybody. <laughs> I'm sure you all know that. So I decided to do this because I, A, finally got my office set up and that'll be a vlog. I'll show you the tour of kind of my new setup. I got some photos done. Very, very happy with those. And I've just been trying to pull myself out of this 2020 funk. You know, not only am I a travel blogger, but I own a hotel consulting company and being in the travel industry in 2020 is just not, it's not fun. So I was going through a lot of my old videos, figuring out what I could do. And I decided just like myself, it's gonna be a little different. These videos this month are gonna have different elements of travel stuck into them. I found some footage that I've taken that I think you guys could actually benefit from. So I'm gonna kind of recreate some new tips we're gonna talk about holiday gift guides on here. We're going to talk about destination questions, cruising questions. We're even gonna cook maybe some specialties. Maybe we'll give some cannolis a try together. And uh, just kind of show you what my day is like working in the travel industry and see if maybe that's an industry you wanna go into post COVID-19, of course. So today is going to be kind of the video version of a post that I have. I have a written post on my blog, HaleyWithAFlare.com that is about uh, the best eateries, local bars in Cozumel, Mexico. So I have some video clips because sometimes I take video when I shouldn't and I haven't thoroughly thought through a storyline. A little under the influence, drinking a few margaritas in some of them. They are a great time. And I'd like to kind of give you a visual of what these places are like. And then of course you can click the blog link down there if you wanna see more pictures of the food and whatnot. It was not my best <laughs> camera showing. It was not my best video series because I kind of got lost because I was live streaming from these places and forgot to take certain videos. So let's walk through that and then we will catch up at the end of this video. Let's go. So this was our first day heading into the Centro. We hit up three bars, Wet Wendy's, Woody's, and Dick's Dive. Parking is a little hairy in Cosmo, but you just gotta keep your eye open for signs. We found some easy parking behind Dick's Dive, so it was $10 with a tip included for the entire night. There's lots of shops in this area, so park it and leave it. We're gonna head to Woody's. Make sure you click my link down below so you can see some pictures of the food. They do live music and they have massive margaritas. Jeffrey, we've made it to Dick's Dive. I had a fabulous margarita. I just got greedy and started drinking it. It had Don Julio, I forget which kind, but it was smooth as shit. With Grand Marnier, it was probably one of the best margaritas I've had in my life. Here's my amigo. <laughs> Tequila. All right, you know what this means, guys. When in Mexico, amigos. Oh, that was smooth. I don't even know if I need it. Mm. That was smooth. Mm. But Dick's Dive was definitely a huge win. Super friendly staff. Very cleanly, friendly. They have the QR codes on the table. Guys, gotta come here. Next, we headed over to Wet Wendy's. I know it seems like there's a theme with these restaurant names, but I promise it was not the purpose. 
When you are at Wet Wendy's, you have to get the tostadas and you have to get the frozen chocolate peanut butter margarita. I know I was terrible and did not record it, but click that link down below so you can see it. All right, we are now on to day two. This is a separate day. We headed to the chocolate factory. There's a really cute chocolate factory that you can go to in town that has a museum. You can make chocolate. It's a really unique experience. And of course, there's a little gift shop after if you want to take some Mexican chocolate home. I actually purchased some Mexican vanilla from this place and it has been absolutely wonderful in my baking at home. I actually brought my dad a whole box of these many different kinds of dark chocolate. He's a huge dark chocolate fan. So stock up on your goodies here. It is a little self-made business. So highly, highly recommend that you pop over here. And I mean, who doesn't love chocolate? Alrighty, the pies de resistance, the mercado. Do not come here with a full or half full stomach. There are a ton of restaurants to choose from, little shops, fresh groceries. To see live street performers singing, dancing. As you can see, everybody's in their masks, social distancing for the most part. So, we went to this little restaurant in the corner and wanted to try these gorditas that they had. One of the workers at our hotel had recommended it. So the restaurant we decided to eat at was Lancheria Don Moles. We wanted to try their gorditas. We also got empanadas. And you guys, this place, it looks like a little diner. It is not fancy. It feels like you're sitting home in somebody's kitchen. The soda comes in glass bottles, which let's all be honest, it tastes better in a glass bottle. But oh my gosh, the empanadas were fantastic. Again, this is not fancy food. It is just tasty food and it's super inexpensive as well. But the real highlight to all of this is going to be the gorditas. The gorditas were just next level. I've never consumed anything like that in my life. So good. These are them. The shells are homemade. It's amazing. After that day, we stopped at Mr. Taco. We tried some other taco places, but you guys, if you want legit street tacos, you go to Mr. Taco. I mean, just look at this. Are you not drooling watching this guy work with this meat? Oh my, it's just so good, I can't. The last place on here is the Maple House Bakehouse. Oh my gosh, you guys, the coffee from here is amazing. And a great frappuccino on a hot day seals the deal. All right, welcome back. <laughs> our little time transport to Mexico. You know, which place, you know, was probably my favorite. It is hard to pick, but you know, I just really like the Centro area of Cozumel itself because there's a lot of true local, not that Senor Frogs and um, Fat Tuesday isn't fun, but there was a lot of great local businesses that you can support that had far better cocktails, far better food, than you're ever gonna get at a place like that. So let me know in the comment section what you would like to see me cover during our little Vlogmas series, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.